Hi, I'm Alexis from AlexisFirst.com. Today I want to share with you a cleansing practice. The spring solstice is coming up and I know a lot of you want to do some type of cleanse. So I'm going to share with you a cleanse called Lagu Shankar Prakshala. Shankar Prakshala is an intestinal cleanse and Lagu is just a short version of it so you can use it every week, you could use it every day if you needed to. Lagu is great for any type of digestive disorder and to flush out the kidneys. So it's a really great thing to do in the spring. I like to do Lagu about once a week, but you could do it every day if you had some issue like constipation going on and just do it right up until the point that you no longer have the issue. It's best to do this practice when you have an hour to dedicate to it and do it first thing in the morning before you've taken any food or water. If you take any morning medication, just wait to take it until after the practice is over. And you'll want to wear loose fitting clothes so that you can move around and feel comfortable and let your belly expand. I'm wearing something a little bit tighter just so you can see me when we get into the movement of the practice. So let's get started. So it's a really easy ratio. We're going to take hot water and cold water and mix it till it's lukewarm. And we add two teaspoons of salt to each liter of water. So I've boiled a jug of water already. And I like to use a big bowl. I'm going to pour it into the bowl. I boiled about a liter of water. And then we're going to mix it. I'm going to put the salt in first so that the salt melts. Um, I do this enough that I just sort of wing it until it tastes right, but again, the measurement is two teaspoons of salt to one liter of water. What you're going for is that eventually, instead of being a salty taste, it'll be a slightly sweet taste. And then we just add the cold water, mix it around. So you have a big bowl of salt water. Nothing, nothing too scary. And then you take your favorite mug. Oh, actually, I'm going to test it first, see if it's too hot. It's a little bit warm. You want it to be lukewarm because we're going to drink it quickly. I'm just going to add a bit more. If you have distilled water, that's ideal because we don't want anything negative in the water going through the system when we're trying to cleanse it out. I'm on well water here and we purify it ourselves, so I know what's in the water. Perfect. So a nice temperature that you can drink it really quickly. And how the practice works is we drink two cups of the salted water quite quickly and then we move into five physical exercises. After those five we come back, drink two more cups, then the five exercises, two more cups, and then the five exercises one more time. So three rounds, drinking two cups of water between each round of exercises. Here we go. I don't fill my mug up all the way, I fill it up about three quarters of the way. I noticed that when I, when I started this practice the first time I had to drink a lot more water before the cleanse worked, but now that I'm in the swing of it, I need a lot less water for my body to flush everything through. So drink the water quickly and move to the exercises. Cheers. If you start to feel a little bit nauseous, or like you just can't drink that quickly, it's okay to take it a little bit slower. Or even cut it down to one cup, and just start that way. Perfect, and then we'll move to the physical exercises. We'll come onto the mat or into your living room or wherever you're comfortable. You can do it on the floor for the five poses. They're not, they're not that intense. The first thing we're going to do is interlace the hands. Take them up above the head. If that's uncomfortable for your shoulders, you can grab your elbows or you can even just have your wrists and have your arms wide apart. The important part is that they're lifted above your head. And then we're going to come up on our toes and fall down on our heels. So what we're doing is all that water we just drank, we're just encouraging it to move down. We're going to do that eight times. And then we'll take the arms again in this position, or the elbows are up overhead. We're going to take the feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. We're going to lean over to the right, and then over to the left. We're going to continue to do this eight times on each side, so 16 times total. So that's two. 
three or five. seven, and eight. And you can bring the arms down. We're gonna keep the feet wider than hip width apart with nice soft knees. We're gonna twist, starting to the right. The left hand will come to the right shoulder. The right hand is gonna come around, and if it can hit the kidneys, that's an extra bonus for cleansing. Otherwise, if it hits the pelvis or the buttocks, that's fine. We always start by twisting to the right so that we squeeze the ascending colon like a sponge, and then as it releases, things move through, and then as we turn to the left, we squeeze the descending colon and release and let that move through. So we're always starting to the right, to your right. So, we'll have nice straight arms in between our rotations, and we'll start. Left hand to right shoulder, and around to the left. That's two. Letting the shoulders be soft. All sides of the neck are long. The knees are nice and soft and moving with you. I think we're on five. coming back and we'll, we'll move on to the floor. For the next position we come onto the floor into a little cobra pose. If this is tough on your lower back you can take your feet really wide behind you to give a little bit more space for your lower back to rest down. Extend your tailbone towards your heels again lengthening the lower back and you can always come down a little bit lower on your hands. If none of those work, you can also try bending the knees, that might help, or um, putting a pillow under your hips. So we'll come into this sphinx-like position. If you'd like to come up into cobra and that's accessible to you, you're welcome to. We're just gonna look over the right shoulder first and then the left eight times each. So again, we're squeezing and releasing, and that squeezing and releasing is what's helping um, the water move through the system and cleanse out the digestive tract. So we'll start by looking over the right shoulder, and then the left, eight times to each side, three, four, five, if your shoulders start to come up towards your ears. Just gently release them down, roll the shoulder blades down the back, seven, we're done, eight, <laughs> and then coming back to center. The fifth and final position in the rotation is a squatting position. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can be on your toes with a blanket roll or another yoga mat rolled up under your heels so you have something to press down on. And if that absolutely did not work for your knees, you can sit on your buttocks, have your feet out in front of you, or even cross-legged, and twist and squeeze like this. And then in the squatting position, you're gonna take the right hand to the right outer knee the left hand to the left outer knee. We'll bring the left foot toward, or the left knee to the right foot. Squeeze and twist out to the right side. And then switch, come back to center. Switch to the other side. It's important to spend a moment in center here, letting everything release and move down. And again, we do eight times to each side. So that's two. You need to spend a little bit longer in center, just not rushing through it. And our final 
one. And those are the five positions. Afterwards, if you're on your first round, then you get up and you have two more drinks of water and do these five exercises again. Then we have two more cups of water, do the five exercises for a third time, and then after that, we sit quietly and we wait. And what we're waiting for is the feeling of urgency to go to the bathroom. And when you go to the bathroom, you can go there right now, after the third time, and just see what happens. Nothing may come through, or something may. The important part is to not strain. We want to keep the digestive system really soft and really relaxed. So we sit in a comfortable position, either sitting on your heels or sitting cross-legged, so we let gravity still do the work of drawing the water down through the system. And we just wait. It may be on your first time that not very much happens, but have faith that even if you don't have to rush off to the bathroom right now and completely cleanse through, that it will still be working and you can continue to do it. Maybe you want to do it the first time for three days in a row until you really get the bowels to run sort of clear. It'll still be a little bit cloudy, but sort of clear. Um, or maybe you just want to try it once a week, every week for a month and see how it goes and see how your body adjusts. So I hope you enjoyed Lagu Shankar Prakshala and the cleanse works well for you. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below in the comment box. And I look forward to seeing you over at AlexisPierce.com.